Hey everyone, Alphabet has been taking big steps forward in terms of innovation that has a lot of investors talking about Alphabet stock. So I wanted to share with you some of the reasons why investors are talking about Alphabet stock now as the company becomes a more attractive investment for investors worldwide. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. So one area Alphabet is innovating is on the enterprise AI platform, Vertex, which helps customers build powerful AI agents. And it's already gaining traction and it claims the US Air Force as one of its customers. Now, powerful AI agents are the next step in innovation for artificial intelligence. It could provide businesses with more information out of the data and more strategic benefit from artificial intelligence. It's an area Alphabet is innovating in, and pretty soon, investors can see meaningful increases in the company's revenue from this category. So AI powered agents are also helping customers develop better quality software, find insights from their data and protect their organization against cybersecurity threats using Gemini. And that's been one of the categories of artificial intelligence I've been most bullish on is the increase in productivity for software developers. I think artificial intelligence and large language models are a great facilitator of coding and software development. And that's one use case right now. That's the core use case for artificial intelligence. Now there's going to be others, but as of right now, that's one of the core use cases and software developers are finding and using more of the code that's developed by large language models, where six months ago, coders were maybe rejecting 75% of the code generated by large language models, meaning there was something wrong with it where coders were saying, no, this isn't good enough, you know, change it, improve it. Now that number has improved significantly. It's less than 50% of these recommendations or these results that are being rejected by software developers and coders. So the AI models are improving their recommendations and it's increasing the productivity of each software developer. Now, each software developer can do more than they previously could with the assistance of artificial intelligence. So sometimes investors forget that YouTube is the number one US streaming according to watch time, according to results from Nielsen. And YouTube has over 2 billion monthly active users. And as folks spend more time on YouTube, that's more opportunity for Alphabet to sell advertising. And that's more opportunity for Alphabet to generate profitability and benefit from its economies and scale and its network effect in this segment. I think YouTube is a great platform. I think it's great for both sides of the equation, both for Alphabet and for viewers, because viewers, you get to have access to thousands, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of creators making content that's more likely to fit your interest. It's more likely to fit your interest because there are more creators and each creator is focused on a certain category. And so you're able to find something that fits your niche more likely than if you were to go to Netflix, where the creations on Netflix are geared for a more broad audience. They're not appealing to niche audiences where someone that has, you know, let's say you get you know, something that has 10,000 views, that's not really viable on a platform like Netflix. But for YouTube, for a video to get 10,000 views or for a subscribe, uh, for a creator to have 10,000 views for each of the videos they create, it could be viable for them. And so they can make those content more effectively, more efficiently than a Netflix can. And then consumers get to watch that content for free, ad supported, right? If you wanna to pay to remove ads, you can do that as well. And so it's not surprising that YouTube is gaining market share and is the leader. And I wouldn't be surprised if this trend accelerates as it's going to be hard for other streaming providers to encroach on this lucrative business model where users create the content and Alphabet doesn't have to spend 
tens of billions of dollars on content every year. That is uh, before they know the content is effective. So Alphabet only pays creators if they make content that people watch. So if there's content that people are not watching, Alphabet doesn't have to pay creators for that content. And so that's different from Netflix, where Netflix has to spend money on content before they know if people are going to watch or not. So the latest Samsung devices will include AI powered Google updates on Android. And that's going to make these devices more attractive to consumers. Alphabet's going to host the Made by Google event happening in August. And they'll have lots to share around Android and the Pixel portfolio of devices. Alphabet is making progress, making inroads with their hardware. I know most investors think of Alphabet as a software kind of business. And asset light business doesn't have big hardware sales but they're making progress on this front and they have their vast business segments remember they have six products that have over two billion monthly active users and so that massive base of users of its products can help subsidize some of their hardware because that hardware can be infused and installed with all of those google products and that can help the average revenue per user from those products can help Alphabet sell those products at lower prices because they're confident that they're going to reap the return on investment from those other products like YouTube when people consume YouTube on those devices. And finally, Waymo, which is Alphabet's driverless car segment, has served more than 2 million trips to date and driven more than 20 million fully autonomous miles on public roads. Fully autonomous. These are not supervised. This is not FSD supervised like Tesla. These are actual autonomous rides on public roads. And they're doing 50,000 weekly paid public rides, primarily in San Francisco and Phoenix. And they, in June, they removed the wait list in San Francisco so anyone can take a ride, which is likely going to lead to thousands more rides for Waymo. Now, this is important for Waymo for one, because it's paid. It's demonstrating that people are willing to pay for this service. That's one. Number two, it allows Waymo to collect all this data, which it can then use to improve the service. And San Francisco and Phoenix are just two cities, but proving the concept in these two cities will allow Waymo to roll out to more cities in the US and then eventually worldwide. Now, Waymo's business model is not like flipping on a switch and they can go national instantly. It's more of a localized model. It's more of a localized strategy to roll out city by city and expand in that way. And in that way, it's a little bit of a limit on it in terms of expansion and the rate of growth. But they're actually on the roads serving rides they have regulators on board. And so if you're thinking about the investments in driverless cars in this technology, then Alphabet could be a great option, especially because, I mean, if you're comparing it with Tesla, with Alphabet, the other side of the business, Google search and advertising and all that is an incredibly lucrative business to have to also have this option on driverless cars. Whereas Tesla, you have the electrical vehicle business, which is an unattractive industry with low profit margin potential. And then you have the driverless car option, the robo taxi option, which could be very lucrative for Tesla. And so you have these two varying options. And I've always favored, well, not always, but in 2024, I've always favored Alphabet as an investment compared to Tesla. In fact, Alphabet, I have rated as my top stock to buy. And I would encourage investors to consider Alphabet stock as a way to capitalize on driverless car technology instead of Tesla, which you're paying triple the valuation for. And you're getting the other side of the business, the electric vehicle business, which is unattractive as the supplement to the robo taxi business. So it's just something to keep in mind. I know I prefer Alphabet. I own Alphabet. I don't own Tesla, 
but I think investors, I think it's a better uh, investment overall. And then you get this option on the side with Waymo that could potentially become a big player in driverless car technology. Did you know that over 90% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed? It'll really help support my channel if you hit that subscribe button. And oh, by the way, one of the benefits of being subscribed is that I take requests from subscribers more often than I do from non-subscribers. So if you prefer that benefit, please subscribe to the channel.